Hi everyone, so Noah is now four months old. Um, he, there is no 31st of April, um, so I'm doing it today on the 30th. Um, so Noah is still exclusively breastfed. Um, we, I haven't given him a bottle or tried a bottle of my milk since he was about eight weeks old. He's now, he was 17 weeks yesterday, like exactly. Um, so I haven't tried since then, so I won't be able to tell you how, like, how many ounces he's taking. Um, even if, like, like I just, like, if we don't do that, I can't tell you. He's just feeding at the moment. Um, yeah, we're still co-sleeping. Um, no, no problems with that. The only thing is, I will get into something in a minute with that. But I'm planning to co-sleep with Noah until he's at least six months old, and then either put him in a cot or possibly, possibly the travel cot. Um, I might try and bring the travel cot back because I've got a mattress that goes with it. I might try and see if I can get that back with me when I head home for the summer. Um, we're still doing washable nappies. Um, if he was in disposables, then he'd be in size three. We went away just over a week ago and I took some size threes with me and they were perfect. And they'd probably fit in for a while as well if we were doing disposables. Um, we're still baby wearing. Um, he has had a little bit of time in the buggy as well, just purely because it's getting really hot out here now to even want to wear him. I'm just like, oh, the thought of having an extra, extra body heat on me is, it's just, oh, it puts me off. But no, we are still baby wearing probably about 90% of the time. Um, he's rolling over from his back to his front, and he can also go from his front to his back as well. And um, that's what I was saying about the co-sleeping. It doesn't matter if he was co-sleeping with me or if he was in a, if he was in his own bed. Um, he's rolling in his in his in the night. He's rolling in his sleep. So he'll be on his back and he'll roll over on his side, and then he rolls. And I just I keep waking up in the night. I'm such a since I've had kids, I've become such a light sleeper. And I wake up and I see him, and I'm like, oh. but he's got his face like turned outwards, but he's beyond his tummy. Just worries me. Um, he's getting more and more vocal every day, and he smiles and. He laughs, and he's very selective with who he laughs at and what he laughs at. It's very hard to get him to laugh. But I've got some um, videos of him laughing. Um, they're on my camera. I'm going to have to try and um, see if I can get them uploaded onto my husband's laptop. I don't know if he's got an editing program. But I'll try and see what I can do, because I would like you to see that. Because um, he doesn't, doesn't do it very often. He's very selective with his laughs. I don't know his weight, because I don't go, don't go anywhere to get him weighed. About four weeks ago, I think... I said he, four or five weeks ago, I think I said he was about 12, 7. That was a lot of like four ish weeks ago, roughly, four or five weeks ago. So, your guess would be as good as mine. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Um, he loves to sit up now. Um, it's only been like the past week or two. He's really had a bit of interest in trying to, if you prop him up on some pillows behind him, he tries to sort of lean forward. And if you sit him up, he really, he's a lot happier. He's starting to get very interested in that. Whereas before, he just was not interested up until now. And he loves to stand up as well. Like if you pull, if you like pull him up with his hat with his, uh, on his hand and he stands up, he smiles at you. He really likes that. Um... We, I think he's teething, um, I think he's been teething since he was about six weeks old, six, seven weeks old, um, like the whole teething process, I think he started that, um, and I'm not, <sighs> the, thing, the thing is, with babies, they, they pretty much do things at the same sort of time, like you know that when they're born, they're going to smile, like within the next couple of weeks, and then you know that they start rolling over, and like roughly the same sort of tight like you know it's all kind of in the same sort of time frame but teething isn't that's the one thing that's so unpredictable with, with babies like you can never Are you finished no um that's the one thing with babies it's never the same so you never know but i think we're getting close to teething like to breaking the tooth because he had a bit of a bad tummy last week um he had a really bad tummy last week and also he um, is getting more fussy like he's such a good baby and just lately he's been he's been very fussy and it's like, completely out of character for him so I don't know if we're getting closer to a tooth breaking through I don't know he's also had a ba bad couple of nights the last three nights he keeps waking up more than normal just just cry like you know like whinging and crying in his sleep so I don't know I've my, my oldest got a tooth at five and a half months so if he's the same it's like another six weeks you know, it could be before, it could be after, who knows. But I think we're getting close, I'm not sure though. Um, at night though, he's sleeping for about anywhere between four and six hours. 
roughly five, close to five, he's like, he's normal. But every now and again, he will do a six, but that's quite rare. Um, someone actually commented a little while ago on one of my videos asking if I got um, Noah immunised. And if you have followed a couple of my other videos, and you might know that I don't, I don't, Immunize, and I didn't take this decision lightly. I didn't just decide I don't, I'm not going to immunize. Like I did a lot of research, and I talked to like their dad, and I just worked out what I felt comfortable with and what I thought was best for my baby. And I just hope that people can understand my point of view that everybody's different, and some people do, and some people don't immunize. And I've taken the decision not to, and that's just my personal decision. And I just I hope that people can understand that. Um, I, it's completely up to you what you do to a baby, at the end of the day, you'll, you'll be criticised whatever way, whatever you do. If you do it, if you don't, you'll always be criticised. So I just think if as long as you're happy and you're confident with your own decision, then who, you know, who is anybody to pull you down for it? But that's, that's just what I feel is best for me and my baby, and I'm really comfortable with my decision. I just hope that everybody can kind of understand where I'm coming from. Um, uh... As for me, I've still had a period. Um, that, so that's four months now. Um, the first time around, I never experienced this. I, I had my period straight away. As soon as I stopped bleeding, a couple weeks later, that was it. I had every period after. So yeah, four months down the line, I still had a period. Um, but Noah is feeding a lot. Like he, he feeds. He feeds throughout the night. Like if, even if he's like when he's whinging in the night, I'll try and feed him, and he that does feed for a bit. So I think. Keeping that overnight has probably healed that off a little bit. Um, but he's just getting so big. Like, he's, he's just massive. I don't know if I can show you him, because I'm doing this one-handed. But he's just so big. Like, his legs are like... I don't know if I can show you. His little legs are just so chunky. He's got so many, like, little... I'll show you his little legs. He's just so chunky. He's just getting so big now. So, yeah, that's now about four months. If there's anything I've left out, you can leave below and I will get back to you if there's anything I've left. Um, other than that, I'll speak to you all soon.